everybody. I'm Dylan Hunter, and uh, the Dixon Project is finished, finally, uh, several weeks later. Woo! And I'm here with my good friends. Oh, I'm, I'm Nicholas B. Church. I'm James Hobbs. This is weird. I didn't have to open this one. I know. I, it's thrown me off. All right, anyway. Yep, I'm finally opening uh, <laughs> some videos for once. And, uh, yeah, today we're here just to kind of critique this. And uh, in part one, you guys didn't really get to see the vest a whole lot. And uh, now we're going to run through some pros, cons, how it's like it, how it's not. You know, actually, this is the first time that I'm actually seeing the jacket complete. I must say, I'm I'm blown away by how awesome this turned out. Yeah, which no. brings me to the story. Oh, God. Uh, which brings me to the story <laughs> of how this all started. It's all right, kind of, all right. So, like, I'm with Hobbs, and uh, I walk up to him, and I say. <laughs> I've been thinking, and the first thing out of his mouth after I say that is like, oh God, because usually when I come around and I, and the first thing that comes out of my mouth is, so I've been thinking, it's usually an idea that's not so good, <laughs> and um, Hobbs almost like blew me off immediately, and then, and then he, and then he kind of heard me out, and I was like, no, I, I think I can make the Daryl Dixon vest. And he was like, yeah, right, you know, and I was like... Well, I must say, I had my doubts. And I was, like, I was like, well, let's just, I'll just send Church a text, and we'll see what he says. And the thing Church says is like, awesome. And so uh, it went into effect. It was a good plan I thought about for like five minutes. And <laughs> yeah. It, it worked Which out. is five minutes longer than most of your plans yeah. go. <laughs> and it worked out pretty well. Um, so uh, let's jump into some pros and cons. Church Hobbs, anything? Well, uh, the first thing that I notice, you know, uh, is is kind of a con, but it doesn't really detract. I, I think it's kind of cool because it's your own like style of it. Is how like basically it's it's away from it because it it almost kind of gives it more of a little bit more of a lasting effect, and then you get, you got more of the the effect of like it like coming apart like you've worn it forever. But and especially like the more you wear it, the darker the wings will get and everything, so uh, it'll even itself out. But yeah, I really I really like it and. Like I said, it's not like as close, but I kind of think it's your own style, and that's why I was cool. Yeah, and that I mean that is something too to to keep in mind. You know, as you watch this video and you see this vest, is that uh, I mean, were we basing it? Were we inspired from Daryl's vest? Yeah. Did I know that I was going to be like that? I was shooting to recreate like it is in the show. No, I mean I knew I'd get close, but it's our own rendition. I really like. I really I love it for one thing. I I think it looks awesome because you know me. I'm a huge Walking Dead nerd. Oh. I I love his vest. But like one thing, it's kind of weird because the wings look old and distressed, but yet the jacket is still new. Which I mean, you'll give it you know like six months, and after you've worn it a while, like, it'll blend together after a while. But like right now, you can kind of notice the difference. But like I said, it'll look fine. You know, once you actually start wearing it. Yeah. Some cons that I wanted to mention that were like are that. some drawbacks to the to the wings. Um, and the first part of the video um, uh, of the first part of the Stixon project, I um, mentioned how his wings come. I thought it was like three uh, like three inches from the bottom. Uh, it's actually not. They're up a little more. Not as up. Uh, not as much up as these. Uh, my wings are shorter than Daryl's, um, and the only reason that they are is because. I had to, uh, well, the place that I had it embroidered at, they can only do 15 inches in each direction, so the wings were only able to be 15 inches long. That's that's actually the max length that I was able to get them done. So, um, uh, for those of you watching at home, if you're thinking, oh, you know, his wings look a little short, that's why. Although, with proportion-wise to you, though, since you're taller, it actually does look good. Like, it looks good mm -hmm. on you. Like, I, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, let's be honest, Norman Reese is actually a pretty short guy, you know, so the jacket is going to be, it's going to be cut up more and then so his wings are going to appear longer you know it's that kind of movie magic kind of thing yeah um uh some of the other cons i mentioned it in the first one i mean the vest i mean you know we already mentioned that this isn't exactly like daryl's and we knew it wasn't going to be i mean you know this is like some cosplay material for yeah, you guys it's, it's, it's a replica yeah and so i mean the vest the leather vest itself is a western cut it's not like daryl's uh as far as the cuts the seams everything like that um, but honestly, the vest that you got is probably as close as you're gonna find. At least for the money, anyway. That you, oh, you're yeah. not gonna have to like already, you know, like make yourself. Oh yeah. Um, in the first video, I know I said it like I think I said it like five times. It was to have like when you cut the material of the denim to have the uh, embroidered work or the screen printing or whatever it is that you choose uh, the route you take uh, to make sure you have plenty of material. And the reason is is because when the embroidery machine, the way it works is like when it um, does the embroidery work, it like clamps down on the whole piece around it. So you have to have excess material for it to clamp onto um, so that it's able to get around and em embroider those designs and things like that. So make sure you do plenty of that. Um, without further ado, uh, I think it's time that we go ahead and talk about some future projects. 
Um, and before that, I'd like to mention if uh, any of you at, at home or anything like that make your own Daryl uh, Dixon vest or you do your own rendition with desi design and our video helped you in any way, uh, please comment. Uh, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Post a link if you put it up in a video. We'd like to watch yours too and just see, you know, kind of how it turned out for you guys. Um, and just, you know, rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, some of the future projects we were working on, or at least we're thinking on, we got a, I'm kind of, I got a buddy that has a machine shop, and we're kind of working on a deal of starting a series called Guns of Games, and we were trying to make, um, we're thinking about trying to make some real guns from video games, um, that, like conversion kit style, so uh, we were thinking about maybe making like some Halo assault rifle, or uh, maybe a gun from uh, Bioshock or Borderlands or something like that. You just throw in Bioshock, so I'll be interested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know that's what you're doing. Oh, no, it'd be worth it. <laughs> so, Steam, uh, anything steampunk, man. And uh, there's also, um, not in the near future, but you know, coming up, there might be Dixon Project Phase 2. That's all I'm really going to say about that. Um, it may be pretty cool, you know, it just depends. We got so oh, yeah. we got a lot of things we're working on. Another big project to eat up a <laughs> month of hard work. Uh, we got a lot of big things we're working on, and what's going to keep us going is if you guys rate, comment, subscribe. Um, that inspires us to keep making videos, and uh, that just helps and gives us further incentive to keep uh, pushing this YouTube channel because we got some great things that we would like to do. Right. Well, let's, well, let's see this on for one thing. Actually, right. I, 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 I think we should show the YouTube what Dylan Hunter looks like in his new vest. And bam! All right. Well, that's what he looks like. But also, here, here's some, here's some pretty good news. Is uh, depending on how well this video does, uh, Dylan. I don't know what am I supposed to say? Oh my god! Depending how well this video does, depending on views, um, comments, rates, like, I mean anything, you know, just depending on how well these videos do, uh, there may be a potential giveaway of this Dixon vest in the future. Um, it just depends how well uh, you guys you guys comment and how much you like videos and watch, subscribe. Um, so you know, it's just the future holds a lot. Yeah, I think that'd be I think that'd be really cool, you know. But yeah, it all depends on you guys. And remember, if you want to see more projects, keep it here at the Game Yanks. Bye. Have a good one. See ya.